the core structure of CLC chloride channel or transporter. CLC chloride channel or transporter form a dimer which has a double barrel screw core. Each monomer of CLC has an inverted repeat structure, shown in solid and light color. There are three positions for gating glutamate residue and chloride ion to be transported. They are SX for external site, SN for central site, SN for internal site. In this structure of wild type E. coli CLC, the gating glutamate is located at SX, the most external site. The other two sites, SN and SN, are occupied by chloride ions. In this structure of cyanidioskaisin CLC, the gating glutamate has moved to the central SN pushing one chloride ion used to be at SN to SN, and the other chloride ion used to be at SN to cytoplasm. A chloride ion enters to the emptied SX site. In this structure of E. coli CLC, the gating glutamate is mutated to glutamine to mimic protonized neutral glutamate. Though glutamine is pointing outward, and all three sites are occupied by chloride ions. Glutamate will start pushing the chloride ion again from this state. The CBS domain of eukaryotic CLC chloride ion channel or transporter. Two homologous subdomains, CBS1 in magenta or cyan and CBS2 in red or orange form a CBS domain. A yellow long loop connecting the transmembrane domain and the CBS domain wraps around the CBS domain. Isolated CLC5 CBS domain in light colors takes similar twofold symmetric dimeric structure in the absence of the transmembrane domain. ATP or ADP binds to the interface between the CBS1 in pink or light blue and the CBS2 in light magenta or light cyan of CLC5. The conformational difference between the ATP-CBS and ADP-CBS is small.